Hi guys, it's Maria here today and so today I'm going to be talking to you about happiness and the part it plays in dating. I like your, oh, your jacket. You. Oh, thanks. You just thrown it's, it on. It's, it's very it's cool. A wash. <laughs> it's a cool colour though. It's just my Burberry. It's a Burberry one. Oh, it's a Burberry one. Yeah. yeah okay. It's just like the old French coat. Yeah, I just like to pay attention to fashion and oh, stuff, cool. so I just thought it looked oh, really thanks. cool. Thanks. I need to wash. <laughs> What are we up to now then? I'm just getting selfridges because I've always wanted to try on a pair of Louboutin shoes. Okay, so go worth a try. Yeah, a try. <laughs> it's lovely to be here. My name is Maria Lidze. Sorry, I just want to say, I think you have very nice eyes and hair. Oh, thank you. Where are you from? Greece. Greece, yes. okay, nice. Thank you don't look Greek at all. <laughs> yes. I think maybe it's the hair. German, maybe German or something like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want I can buy you a little coffee <laughs> as a treat? <laughs> It's not a problem. I'm mad with coffee. I like it. This one, the part, yeah? yeah? You know, I sat at a restaurant the other day. I was sat at this chic new Indian restaurant that everyone keeps talking about. It's a new one that's opened in town. So I sat there with Emery and we're talking about, you know, various things as we usually do. And Emery keeps ranting on about the future and how we need to change people's lives as he usually does. <laughs> as much as I love Emery, I kind of lose my attention and I find myself staring at this couple across the room. You know, when you sometimes can't help staring at someone, well, this was one of those moments. I look over and there was a really average guy no offense to the guy of course but the guy was basically very averagely presented quite scruffy he kind of reminded me of someone who works in one of those video game stores and right next to this guy was this most stunningly gorgeous blonde girl guys she was absolutely stunning and she looked completely natural too with her long straight blonde hair wearing a skin tight dress which really showed to the world how big her boobs were I know what you're thinking she probably a hooker, must have been a prostitute. Hmm, I actually don't think so, as she looked so natural and the way they were talking to each other and the way they were looking at each other, it actually looked like they were together. I just couldn't stop staring at this sight. I wish I took photos and it just looked so out of line and interestingly, despite the girl next to him, the guy didn't seem that bothered at all. This may sound like a huge generalization, but he looked downright unhappy to me. Everything from his body language and his facial expressions made me feel this but anyway this leads me on to my next point so approaching girls alone is not going to make you happy neither is having success with girls in general no if you're getting into this getting into dating in the hope that it will make you happier you're very wrong here we've coached a few guys at Karma Lifestyles who want from zero to hero they came in with little clue about meeting and attracting women and they ended up hooking up with those stunners but this group of guys with coach were initially not happier despite their results due to a number of reasons which I'll explain in this video it took some minor adjustments and realizations before they realized what they were doing wrong so I don't want to burst your bubble either so let me explain what I mean here guys you all have different reasons for wanting to improve your dating lives and all the reasons are very different and these reasons derive from an infinite number of different upbringings and past experiences. Some of us have amazing upbringings, we've been very fortunate to have everything we wanted. We even had a few girlfriends but it could be that the long-term relationship you were in just didn't click. It didn't work and you don't want a new relationship and a long-term connection with another woman. There are also instances where guys have come very conservative and religious backgrounds which they don't feel right about and they're used to dating, approaching women as an expression of revolt against this regime. A discovery of a new type of freedom which also has the benefit of improving themselves, their confidence and their social skills. That is absolutely understandable too. These are different reasons and it's great as we're all different and we're all unique. Guys, the underlining reasons why we get into dating and self-development of this nature really dictate how we feel and dictate our own happiness. It's sometimes vital for self-evaluate yourself 
and to really ask yourself what is it that you want what is it that you really want are you doing enough to get there are you willing to completely let go of those negative past experiences and to move on for example you could be victim to a girl mistreating you in a relationship or even a girl cheating on you as a result you feel like you want a stunning girlfriend in order to make a statement towards her and towards all of your friends and family to prove that you haven't lost your manhood but guys is this really the route to true happiness I don't think so. We at Karma Lifestyles can certainly help you to get those amazing results with women and we ultimately give you the happiness that you really need. So really, do you evaluate yourself and do you really let go of those negative experiences from the past? Don't base your dating strategy on what she did to you in the past or even if it's a rebellion towards your upbringing, neither are good ideas. I mean, one day you could wake up with that absolute stunner right next to you you've realized you've achieved your dating goals but are you happy well in theory you should be over the moon but some guys are always in doubt and that element of doubt is not helpful gents we all need to find that happiness we need to find those reasons and find out why we are doing these things that we do but even more so we need to discover these moral reasons for wanting to improve our dating lives okay so you're probably thinking how do I find that happiness then in dating and approaching women well first and foremost is to appreciate every moment of this journey and of your experiences. Sometimes I think the word appreciation is a bit superficial as it doesn't fully describe your gratefulness in this journey. You need to really appreciate every moment even if it's just striking up a conversation with that gorgeous chick. Be really appreciative and just imagine that you're in the 0.001% of the male population who have the privilege to be there at that moment you have been chosen and you are the chosen one so really be happy about it and realize this because this is the truth and another point here is that you need to realize the girl likes something about you if she's willing to stick around for more than a few seconds there's something that she likes and so really do appreciate that and be happy about that I mean you can even put all of your emotions to one side and just think about the numbers and think about how unique you are being there when you go out and when you approach women in cold approach you are automatically a lottery winner as you defy all statistical odds so just think about this from time to time and tap yourself on the shoulder from time to time as you deserve it anyway that's all from me today I hope you liked hearing my thoughts and if you have any questions or any comments then please do leave a comment down below also please do like share and subscribe to Karma TV I'm Maria and I'll see you next time. Let me, let me.